Hey everybody, Ego the Visual Culturist back again, and I'm reacting to a surprise little Nintendo Direct Mini. Uh -uh. Uh, I don't know anything about this, I don't know what's going to be shown, so I don't know exactly what to expect, so reactions are going to be all over the place. Uh, but this is pretty cool. I don't know if, I don't know if this was planned. I got up and then people were talking about a Direct Mini, I was like, oh, I gotta check that out. Especially... So so soon after the uh, Nintendo indie indie showcase we got, so this is good though. But let's uh, let's see what they reveal or what they have. Hopefully, I'm impressed, and let's jump right into it. Please note, due to the coronavirus release dates and other information presented in this video are subject to change. For potential updates, just please check out the official Nintendo website, social media channels, as well as those of affiliates. All right, makes sense. It's mini. Nintendo Direct Lil. <laughs> Long ago, two great titans came into existence. The Bionis and the Maconis. The titans were locked in a timeless battle. until at last, only their lifeless corpses remained. Damn. Ooh, Xenoblade Chronicles. This is gonna be a great game to get. <sighs> if you haven't already played it on 3DS or Wii. Huh? In the sky! This can't be! No way. It's a... Mechon! Commence the assault on Bionis. The Monado. It's the only sword that's effective against the Mechon armor. If we could just unlock the Monado's power. It's my turn! Shulk! No! It'll kill you! Shulk! His body is ready. There was something strange. It was as if I could see into the future. I know you won't believe this, but Shulk can see the future. I didn't know you could do that! It's not me. It's the power of the Monado. And so Damn. it begins. I don't the know resurrection if the game of the Bionis. This beautiful, but I've been waiting for great. you, Monado boy. The like future a, I see. A ten -year -old game. It isn't set. Mania. Father! So I can use this power to change Definitely the future. Game of face and that's exactly what I intend to do. Mechon. It's not over. The people of Bionis will never let you triumph. Damn. I have 29. Not a good time for me, but... Ooh. Future Connected? DLC? I like the music. If the capital is on the shoulder, there are people there. I thought you'd want to go. The ultimate version of a modern classic, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. On Nintendo Switch, the game looks better and plays smoother than ever before. The battle HUD and menu screens are easy to read and easy to use. And some of the music has been re-recorded. Ooh, rearranged. Now you can fully immerse in the majesty of this vast world. And a new epilogue, a new story. Future Connected will cap off the main game. Nice. So if you've played and loved the original game, you can not only revisit it, but look forward to one more adventure with Shulk. Good thing I came prepared. We'll Looks like original voice this. cast is intact. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition launches on May 29th, and you nice. can pre-purchase the game starting today. Also, coming on May 29th, the Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Works set will pack in a 250-page art book. Ooh, that's gonna be great. 
People love this game in this game series. Hi everyone, and welcome to Nintendo Direct Mini. We've got news on upcoming Nintendo Switch games, and we're focusing on a selection of them coming out this year. Now, let's roll through some headlines, shall we? Three of 2K's most beloved series are coming soon to the All Nintendo Switch games. system. <laughs> All sports games. Ooh, Bioshock? Borderlands? The Bioshock Collection? Okay, that's a good call. All right, that could be fun. Can you believe the Bioshock games were supposed to come to PlayStation Vita years ago? <laughs> Legendary Collection? Does it run now? <laughs> the Borderlands, you can technically play Borderlands on the Vita right now. Ooh! XCOM? Yeah. Good stuff, TK. Three. Three really good games. The Switch. Old enemies face off in a new trailer for the Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 The Black Order Expansion Pass. There we go. You so heroes I still have to play this game. This world too many times. You are no match for Doom's power. The Fan 4 stick. Richards. It's clobbering time! Talk about a hot pursuit! Okay, We're not going Bandit down without Johnny a fight! Storm. Susan Storm, Visible Woman. We have a universe to save. Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic. I know my comic lore. <laughs> you are wasting your time, fools! But where are their kids? Doom always prevails! Shadow of Doom! Doom must become a god himself! <laughs> In the darkest depths of the ocean lies a really fun game! You are the last of the human race, forced by a global winter into an unexplored aquatic world. In this deep sea exploration game, you'll collect resources to upgrade your gear, craft items, and dive deeper into the abyss. As you explore increasingly hostile environments, you better watch those oxygen and pressure levels. And if that's not challenging enough, Shin Sakai's Time Attack Mode Another Dive boasts a perilous maze for you to race through, culminating with a final monstrous threat. You know, it can get pretty heavy down there, so why not lighten the mood with the jukebox feature? It lets you remix the game's background music by modifying audio filters. The time has come Ooh. to discover the truth hidden beneath the ocean's surface. When Shinsekai Into the Depths launches on Nintendo Switch today. Hmm, interesting. A Capcom indie game. Live your best deserted island life thanks to this free update. That was quick. <laughs> Enjoying island life in the Animal Crossing New Horizons game? Of course. Well, whether you're already Everyone living knows. it up on the island or you're still planning your departure, there's an event coming up and we're happy to spill the beans. Er, crack the eggs? You see, after downloading the free update we made available at launch, One Zipper T Bunny will visit your island in celebration of Bunny Day in early April. Bunny Day. Can you hunt down the egg's zipper head everywhere? Find the eggs. Dang, Plus, the you can craft these special limited time items from the egg series. 
The Bunny Day event only comes once a year, this time from April 1st to April 12th. So be yeah. sure to participate. Next week. And guess what? There's another free update coming later in April. It'll usher in some newly added features, including the Earth Day event. Of course, we'll continue to bring you the latest on updates and more via the official Animal Crossing Twitter account and other channels too. So stay tuned. We hope you enjoy the updates and everything else about your life on the deserted island. Hey, look, someone's hiring. Oh, this is your dad's company? Hmm. Apparently, they offer a wide range of services. Finance, logistics, recreation. The job description entails many responsibilities. You'll deliver items, mop the floor, and maintain a comfortable work environment. They're trusting you with crane operation <laughs> and other tough oh, tasks. I should not be trusted. Uh-oh, that projector won't do. Hmm, think you can take care of that? Whether you conduct yourself in a professional manner <laughs> or opt for more yep. creative solutions, Coming through. do Whoa. what you need to do to get the job done. Best employee ever. Best employee. <laughs> Hopefully you're ready to join the team and be put to work immediately because good job launches today. Hmm, that looks like a fun little game. Catherine's yes! full body, the mature it's action true. adventure puzzler, is coming to Nintendo Switch. The rumors are true. Contemplating the next step in his relationship, commitment phobic Vincent finds himself pulled into the allure of a new love. Looks like poor Vincent's caught in a love quadrangle with Catherine. Catherine, Catherine. with a C, and Rin. Rin. Little does he know, temptation might lead to his own demise. In this cult classic, your choices will affect how their relationships unfold, and it only gets weirder. Deservedly, not only is Vincent riddled with guilt during the day, master. he's also not sleeping so soundly. Every night, his nightmares consist of a crumbling tower of puzzle blocks that he must climb in order to survive <laughs> and I gotta see come back another and go day. One more time. Find out if love is over for our troubled bachelor in this dark, intense, and intoxicating story when Catherine Full Body releases on Nintendo Switch July 7th. Oh, okay, I have some time. July 7th, I will be there. A free update for the Ring Fit Adventure game will pump up its audio. Which is the perfect place to play Catherine. What, what? <laughs> this is like Nintendo's Mix Beat Saber. the new rhythm game mode. If you want to set a high score, you got to get your body moving to the beat. Speaking <laughs> of, so there are 17 music tracks in the rhythm game. We're talking music from Super Mario Odyssey, Splatoon 2, and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Interesting. I'm On gonna top lie. of that, I actually want to fly. I actually want to play. Your companion, Ring, will now have a female voice option. Nicely done. Move. Abgard. And you'll also be able to change languages. Feel free to change it up in the settings whenever you want. We're also adding in a new jogging option in both the custom and quick play modes. When you're not in a battling mood, you can simply run through a variety of fields. Cool. This free update for the Ring Fit Adventure game will be available today. I actually need to try that rhythm music game. Better I'm not open lying, the gates. Like, I'm very One treasured to TRPG approaches. I can play rhythm Since games. Since 1990, the King's Bounty series has been influencing the evolution of Western RPGs. I'll have six pack arms and now and it's back no with time. a fresh look That's and a new works. approach. This straight up sequel will pit army against army sending the player on a quest oh God, around the world to save the world. This time, the graphics are more realistic. Your choices matter more than ever. And so does the terrain you stand on. So master your surroundings like the master strategist you are. Across the land, you'll meet new people whose ethics and affinities are informed by the new character development system. Find out just how deep the gameplay will get when King's Bounty 2 launches on Nintendo Switch in 2020. Cool. Looks interesting. 
Super Smash Bros. Ultimate News approaches. Oh. The fighter included in Wave 6 of the paid Super Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC will be... Really? Yes! Joining the battle from ARMS. This is fighter it? is a bit unusual thanks to those extendable arms, so we'll have to extend our development time too. Please stay tuned for just oh, a bit they longer. They didn't reveal it. They the revealed next it, fighter will did. be announced and released this June. Okay. Bring man. Don't miss this Maybe arms game control. trial. A free game trial of arms will be available exclusively to Nintendo Switch Online members. These elite fighting superstars share one thing in common, extendable arms. So equip super-powered arms to create arms a slew of fun. combinations. For a limited time, you can try out the full game for free. Now, let's get stretchy. Yeah, let's get stretchy. Feeling good? Well, all right. Then how about we take a nice long look at Bravely Default 2. Ooh. This is another game uh, people are very excited for. Where, where am I? First one sold like game. Can't Busters. believe I survived. Fire, water, wind, earth, nature's masters. The Great Stone's power exceeds the hand of man, and if unleashed, would bring down death, disaster, calamity, and blight upon the land. Step into a brand new world. Heroes of light. With brand new heroes. May the crystals guide you. This is the crystal's blessing. Who swear the details, <laughs> eh? And don't stand on ceremony either. It's if I've helped functional. even one like person, it. then I've done the right thing. Now we deep dive. This tale unfolds on the continent of Excellent, home to five mighty kingdoms. The saga begins when our hero Seth, a young sailor, washes up on the shores of one such kingdom. Well, at least I'm alive. Here, he meets Gloria of Musa, a princess who was forced to flee her kingdom when it was destroyed by evil forces bent on stealing its crystals. You dare claim the crystals? You do not know their worth. <laughs> he also encounters oh, really two travelers style. determined to decipher a mysterious Bro, and I magical can. book. Elvis and Adele. I've a certain special book to be deciphering. We're not friends <laughs> or anything. I'm just here because he hired me. All right, I think Elvis and Adele are the best characters. As if guided by fate, our heroes join forces and set off together on a grand mission each filled with a sense of purpose. But there will be those who stand in their way. Those who have gotten hold of special items known as asterisks. These stones allow their holders to take on jobs, such as thief or black mage, becoming infinitely more powerful in the process. Dear God, not more power. Okay, let's do this. Ooh. I shall steal it all. Every last treasure in the empire. During battle, you must decide when to use Brave Points, or BP, the lifeblood of the game's turn-based system. The key to oh, victory lies in use knowing when to use the Brave and Default commands. Choose Brave to spend BP in order to allow characters to perform additional actions. Ooh, she's a melee fighter. Choose Default to order a character to guard, reclaiming a BP in the process. Strategically hold back or take multiple actions in one turn. To make the right choice, you must consider your character's roles and statuses at all times. Hmm. Should you manage to fell an asterisk holder, you will acquire their asterisk, allowing you to take on the associated job. Jobs can be combined at will, greatly expanding your strategic options and influencing the development of your characters. <laughs> Now for a little announcement. 
A demo version of the game will launch today. Ooh. And in the near future, we'll conduct a survey to gather feedback and incorporate what we can as we finalize the game. We hope you'll participate. Nice. Okay. I definitely got to participate. This could be a little one-off. The latest right? entry in Square Enix's beloved series, Bravely Default 2, will release this year. Nice. That's, that's This is exactly what they did for uh, Octopath Traveler. Hope you're having fun. Let's keep this good news train a-moving. Tabletop classics from around the world will come together on yes, Nintendo perfect Switch. Time. I guess to play some tabletop games. Whoa, they weren't kidding when they said classics. Clubhouse games. Presenting every single game included in this massive new collection of fun <laughs> from around the globe. Air Hockey, Go. Menkala, Hanafuda, Backgammon, Renegade, Checkers, President, Dominoes, Speed, Heron Hounds, Blackjack, Four Black. in a Row, Chess, Shogi, Mini Shogi, Ludo, Richie Mahjong, Sevens, Golf, Darts, Texas Hold'em, Nine Men's Morris, Air Hockey, War, Carom, Chinese Checkers, Yacht Dice, Takoyaki, Billiards, Hex, Spider Solitaire, Gomoku, Matching, Bowling, Shooting Gallery, Slot Cards, Dots and Boxes, Jesus. Hit and Blow, Pig's Tail, Mahjong Solitaire, Last Card, Fishing, Klondike Solitaire, Toy Tennis, Toy Soccer, Toy Curling, <laughs> Toy Boxing, Toy Baseball, Battle Tanks, Team Tanks, Sliding Puzzle, and Six Ball Puzzle. Phew! That really is 51 games. Jesus. And okay. there are many ways to play them. Some games are multiplayer, including options for up to four people. Maybe playing 15, via local wireless, and in some cases, online play is supported too. Mm. Choose three games, match up with other players, and just play. Play to your heart's content against rivals the world over. When this Clubhouse Games 51 Worldwide Classics launches on Nintendo Switch oh, okay. June 5th. Pre-purchase begins today. It would have been nice to have now, but okay. Will the real Master Ninja please stand up? Oh, so you're the ultimate ninja, are you? Jung Ho. Well then, prove it in ninja. battle. As one of eight players, you must earn the most points to claim victory. Ooh. Sprint across stages. Battle Royale. And show off your gum ninjutsu like only you can. And ninjutsu is very strong. By chewing ninja gum, you can dash at high speeds. <laughs> Disguise yourself. Free to play, starting today. And wield an arsenal of skills. And speaking of arsenals, from heady hitting hammers, to fast and flashy katanas, to tactical tricked out yo-yos, your choice of equipment could mean the difference between domination and defeat. Ninjas thrive in clans, so cement your supremacy yes. in four-on-four four team battles that prove Dragon ninjas Boy. are most clever when they work together. Team. The winning Will your team. efforts end in gummy disaster? Or prove you're the master? When Ninjala sneaks up on Nintendo Switch May 27th. Oh. And hey, it's free to play too. Okay, free to play. I'll be checking that out. Check out what you can play on Nintendo Switch. Enter Luke Skywalker's <gasps> Jedi Academy to learn the ways of the Force. Customize your look, play a role in this Star Wars story, and battle online with up to 16 players. <laughs> Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy launches on Nintendo Switch today. Okay. And get ready That's to strap in me. because Star Wars Episode One Racer is coming soon. Oh! In this remade dragon riding classic, okay. you'll pilot the blue dragon through I incredible get some Star landscapes, Wars to play. <laughs> battling giant creatures and lethal battleships, using 360 degree controls and lock on targeting. It's your destiny to reach the tower or die trying. When Panzer Dragoon Remake launches first on Nintendo Switch as a timed console exclusive today. Ooh. There's a lot more coming to Nintendo Switch. Damn. For a mini direct, there's like a lot in here. Trials of Mana. Okay, that's gonna be big. Some of the little people looking forward to this game. Yes, Fuser! Show up more Fuser. Blades. Right about this game. Okay. 
cool for the people that like it. Warhammer, 40,000 um, Mechanicus. Bigger. Cool. Ooh, burnout. Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. Isn't it ready on the Switch? Interesting. Looking for heroes. There's a demo. Here. A lot of good RPGs. Mr. Driller, Drill Lab. Minecraft Dungeons. Well, it's been fun, but today's Nintendo Direct Mini isn't over yet. This is our last news of the day. Okay, what is it? What do we get? Now for the Pokemon. latest information on the Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass. With an expansion pass, the world of the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games will grow. The sprawling island in the sea, the Isle of Armor, and the frozen snowscape known as the Crown Tundra will be accessible in the Galar region. It's a new adventure to embark on with new people to meet along the way. Today we have some follow-up information about Part 1, The Isle of Armor. On the Isle of Armor lies a dojo for Pokémon battles, where trainers gather to master their skills. And if you train at this dojo, you will receive the legendary Pokémon... Cub Fu from the master, Mustard. Cub Fu. Through your training with Cub Fu, you will receive permission to challenge the Towers of Two Fists on the Isle of Armor. In this challenge, you will enter one of two towers, the Tower of Darkness or the Tower of Waters. You may only choose one, and you and Cub Fu must face this challenge alone. Once you've conquered one of the towers, Cub Fu will evolve into Urshifu. If you choose the Tower of Darkness, it will learn single strike style. But if you choose the Ooh. Tower of Waters, it will learn rapid strike style. Interesting. Dark or water. The choice is yours and yours alone. Beyond that, the evolved form of your partner Pokemon, be it Rillaboom, Cinderace, or Inteleon, will gain a Gigantamax form as a reward for your adventure on the Isle of Armor. So let's take a look at each Pokemon's Gigantamax form moves. Beating a giant drum and controlling its roots, it's G-Max Drum Solo. Kicking a giant ball of fire to deliver a powerful shot, it's G-Max Fireball. And blasting the opponent with water from 130 feet up, it's G-Max Hydro Snipe. These moves are stronger cool. than Dynamax moves, and when used, the opponent's abilities have no effect when they're attacking. Hmm. In addition to new outfit items and hairstyles, there will also be new League Card backgrounds, effects, and frames. Now you'll have even more customizations to use to show off your personality. Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass Part 1, The Isle of Armor, will launch by the end of June. Also, for those of you who purchased the Expansion Pass, we've prepared this early purchase bonus you can receive by August 31st. Starting today, during Max Raid Battles in the Wild Area, you'll have a higher chance of encountering the Gigantamax forms of Caparaja and Duraludon in Pokemon Sword, and Garbodor and Charizard in Pokemon Shield. Hmm. Battle with other trainers to take on this challenge together. People love Charizard. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct Mini. Thanks for watching. There was a lot of stuff for this being a mini direct, like a lot of stuff. <laughs> a lot of good stuff. Okay, yeah, there was a lot of good stuff. That was a pretty jam-packed Nintendo Direct mini. <laughs> Uh, the mini's very, very uh, off-putting.
For a mini direct, that didn't feel mini at all. Like, they jam packed the hell out of that thing. <laughs> so many good things to look forward to. <laughs> the only thing that's getting in my way is time, money, and other games. But, let's see. Oh man, they uh, they did the Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition announcement. They started off super strong. I know tons of people are looking forward to that. That is a very rare game to get. Uh, well, it's easier to get slightly since it came out for a new 3DS, I think, exclusively. Um, before that, it was just the Wii, and that game is incredibly rare to get if you have a Wii copy. Um, but now you're going to be able to get it. Uh, everyone has been looking to play will be able to get the best version. Uh, so that's cool. With, you know, updated graphics, rear, uh, you know, a new rearranged music score, uh, and a new bonus episode. So I know people love Xenoblade, uh, the series, and that one is like a very, very, uh, beloved and cherished game. So that's, that's going to be good to, good to play. Um, a little collector's edition too with art and history of the entire saga, I think, if I remember correctly. So that was pretty cool. 2K Games. They had the Bioshock Collection, the Borderlands. I think it was Borderlands 1 and 2 and um, the pre-sequel coming to Switch. So that could be fun. Uh, I, know, I know that game, they got it to run on a Vita. You can play Borderlands on a Vita. So if you can play it on a Vita... I imagine it can't be too much harder to play it on Switch, but that's going to be cool. Um, and then there was another one. What was the third 2K game? Oh, XCOM. That's going to be fun. I know the closest thing Nintendo has to XCOM is um, uh, the Rabbits game that came out, Super Mario. Um, that was called Mario and Rabbits Kingdom Battle. Just came to me. <laughs> Um, but it's nice that they're going to have another, another game of that genre. Um, Capcom is making an indie game, uh, Shinsekai Into the Depths. It's like a wa underwater exploration. If I remember, it was like you're the last human on earth exploring the depths of the ocean, um, available today. That seemed really cool. You can mess with the music too, on the soundtrack, adding filters and stuff. I'm just... It looks cool, and I'm shocked again. And Capcom, ever since Monster Hunter World, uh, all the Capcom Resident Evil re-releases re and remakes, they've been they've been collecting the money, and they're using, putting it to good use. So that's cool. Um, Animal Crossing is getting an Easter and a no, a bunny update, not an Easter update, a bunny update, and then there's something with Earth Day for look like a sloth. Groundhog or something. <clears throat> so that's cool. Um, there was the good job little indie game. That looks like fun. That's like that's like a little one-off. Just uh, almost like a job. Top-down job simulator type game. Looks fun. And then Catherine Full Body is in fact coming to the Switch. Which is where I will play it. <laughs> that game is... That's like a perfect fit for the Switch, especially with versus modes and stuff. Oh, I can see that. I can see that fitting so well, so well. <laughs> that's where I'll, that's where I will play it though on the Switch. Um. So, uh, what else? And then there was a uh, Ring Fit Adventure. The there's a new jogging mode. They added a female voice for the ring thing, I guess. Uh, and then the thing I'm most excited about. The rhythm mini game, legit, no joke. I am not kidding when I say I actually want to get this game so that I can try out that rhythm mode. I'm sure it'll get. I I think there was it's only Nintendo music, and I don't know if they're going to be updating more DLC, add more songs or something. Um, I know the big thing about Beat Saber and like uh, Autica is that um you can import your music, so you can. I I believe, I might be wrong, uh, -uh but I. I could have I could have sworn like you can use your own music in those games, I think. Uh uh. I could be wrong, but again, it's games like that, it's how many tracks, high scores, you know, things like that. So I legit have to go 
buy your ring fit adventure and get in shape while while <laughs> while uh, listening to Nintendo music, which could be big depending on if they do like remixes, kind of like DDR. Oh, <laughs> just not as intense or fast. I don't know. We'll see. Um, King's Bounty Two seems cool, and then Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. We're getting a new character from Arms, which was okay. That's one of my dream dream characters. We still don't know who it is. It's gonna be in June. Um, it's gonna be revealed and released in June. Uh, my money is either it's gonna be Spring Man or Ribbon Girl or um. <clears throat> That one other, that one other female. Oh, there's a few. Ah, oh, man. There's a few characters. But I think the four, the the front runners are. It's either going to be Spring Man, Ribbon Girl, or that one. That one fighter. She's like a movie star, and everyone's like, she thick. <laughs> so maybe she might get in. I I don't remember the names. It's been a while. Also, Arms just has a free. Trial period, so you can play it for free, uh, for a limited time. But that's cool. Now, if we could just get a wonderful one, <laughs> and I'm holding out hope. Fingers crossed. Next reveal will be will be a wonderful one. The re-release of the wonderful 101 on Switch, PS4, PC, soon to be Xbox, maybe. That'll that'll <clears throat> make it happen, Nintendo. Make it happen. Um, but yeah. Uh, Bravely Default 2. I know the first Bravely Default for 3DS sold incredibly well. Like, that was an indie... I don't want to say a throwaway indie title from Square Enix, but, they're like, that was kind of in the lull of Final Fantasies weren't doing so good. And they're like, we really need something to turn this around. <laughs> and Final Fantasy VII Remake was just a glimmer in the eye of, of all the fans in the world across the universe. <clears throat> and that game, like... Gave them some goodwill with with uh, players, and it seems really good. I like the art style, the character design. It's it's voiced. Uh, seems like a good game. Um, Clubhouse Games, fifty one worldwide classics, or was it fifty two? It was fifty. Well, I'll just say fifty plus all the games. No, no pricing yet. That's probably going to be, if I had to guess, it'd probably be like a twenty nine ninety nine, maybe a nineteen ninety nine style uh, release. It's either going to be 20 or 30 bucks. I think that's the sweet spot. But that'd be cool. Wish I had it now, but that's also pretty pretty damn cool. Um, Ninjala, a free-to-play uh, arena fighter. Uh, no, not arena fighter, uh, Battle Royale. <clears throat> a fighting game battle royale, which I don't know if we have any of those, but also coming later, but I might have to check it out. Um, Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy, yes, available today, I believe. <laughs> I gotta, uh, uh, it's, it's a good time to be a Star Wars fan again, so I, I definitely have to go check that out. Panzer Dragoon's getting remade, uh, uh available now, I believe. Mm -mm. So that's if you like rail shooters. I know Panzer Dragoon is pretty popular. It has it has a pretty dedicated like hardcore fan base, so that's cool. It's also timed exclusive, so on Switch first before coming to everything else. Um, a whole bunch of new new games down the uh, you know coming further down the pipeline. Uh, I don't remember what they were just because there was so much for a mini direct. Um, uh, but they're they're on the way, um, and then of course more more Pokemon news. The expansion pass, new Dynamax, no, yeah, Dynamax forms for the starters. Uh, new raid Pokemon. You can play in the wild zone, whatever the zone is called. I I have to get into Pokemon. I'm one day I'll get back into Pokemon. Um, and then that new the new legendary. Cub Fu, I think that was his name. <laughs> cool that you can. Everyone gets them if you get the 
expansion pass. And then you can choose how to... Kind of similar to what they do with Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan. Uh -uh. Where, you know, there's it's essentially like... I know there's evolutions of... What the heck is that thing's called? Trogo? Trogue? I forget what it's called. It's been a while. Or Hitmontop. You can choose how you want your Pokemon to... Not evolve, but like learn a style. And then it was dark style and water. So that's pretty cool. They're doing some different stuff. I know Pokemon sold stupidly well, but the reception from at least like the hardcore Pokemon fans was not very well received. But it sold well. And I think if you're casual, then it's going to be a good time. We'll have to see. There was some new... I, I saw... I remember, like, the new starter Gigamax forms have, like, special abilities that just completely ignore... No, their their new thing is that they ignore Pokemon abilities. Which is gonna be... I don't know if the Gigamax forms are competitive, like, if there's competitive modes or if it's just regular battles, but... That could be cool. Interesting. I'm not competitive enough to know if this is, like, Changing things up for the better or the worse, but cool. But yeah, that was a damn good Nintendo Mini Direct. <laughs> so much. Oh man, so much. I'm very impressed. It was a good day. <laughs> Thank you, Nintendo. For uh, making my social isolation that much more enjoyable. But yeah, um... I'd be interested to hear what everyone's favorite thing out of this mini direct was. Be sure to leave it down in the comments section uh, uh, below, down below. We can have a. Uh, there, there's so many things <laughs> that I was. I'm looking forward to. <laughs> no joke. Um, but yeah. Uh, other than that, that was a mighty fine Nintendo Direct mini. Um, I got nothing else to say. So many good. So many good games. I just wish more of them were out sooner or now <laughs> during the uh, quarantine season. But yeah, I really liked it. Very impressed, Nintendo. I went in expecting nothing and I got everything. <laughs> best, best morning ever. So other than that, um, if you liked this video, be sure to leave a like. And if you haven't already subscribed, you know please consider doing so, so you can stay up to date with all future uh, reaction videos. Uh, my uh, past Twitch streams uploaded in a daily Let's Play format and other visual projects to come. Otherwise, I'm Ego the Visual Culturist signing off, and everyone remember to stay healthy, stay safe, and stay indoors. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everyone.